So we're here at beautiful Sandy Point State Park and it's a, a very nice October evening. It's actually Columbus Day evening. And we started this morning crabbing and we only caught two keepers out of we had six kids crabbing. So we had a bunch of traps in the water and some hand lines. Um, but then the crabbing picked up. We took a break and the crabbing picked up this evening. Uh, so we ended up catching about, I think maybe seven or eight or nine. Not that great, but um, hey, you take what you can get. And it's October, I don't know. This is our first time crabbing here. So uh, I don't know how the crabbing usually is in October. Hold on, Carrie. So quickly I want to show you the three types of traps that we're using today. Um, let's start off with the basket trap here. These are nice. Uh, you put bait in the middle, just like that one over there. And if you pull these up quick, we can catch uh, not just crabs, but we caught eel several times. We caught some spot. Um, those are nice things about those traps. This here, you can actually catch fish in too. Um, this one, you're not, you, the initial pull up has to be quick so that these trap doors will fold up. Yeah, he's first going to show us there. Yep. So when you put that on the bottom, uh, the trap doors open up, and then you wait for a crab to hopefully come in and eat the bait in the middle there. You can clip it in that little clip, and when you pull it up, the, the crab is trapped in there. And one of the ones, one of the methods we actually had a lot of success with today is the hand line, and you can see it's a weighted clip, and you can put some bait on it. Right now we're using an eel, eel guts. Uh, so you just drop that in the drop that in the water and pull it up slowly. And when you pull that up, it should feel if there's a crab on it, it will feel a little heavier, obviously, when then when you put it down. So you can have So then you have to kind of have a feel for how heavy it was. And then it'll also be a little more wobblier. You can feel the crab kind of wobble on the water underneath. And sometimes it'll actually pull away from you, so that's how you know if you have a crab. So if you pull it up slowly and then scoop it out with the with the net, then uh, you might be in business. And it's nice to have a couple of these crabbing nets there. Uh, and that's about it. We use chicken necks for bait, and sometimes bunker fish. And it's it makes for a really fun day of crabbing, and it's a, a nice thing for the kids to do. Also, Kayla, come here. Also, another thing for young kids, it's nice to have nice to have a life jacket, so if she goes overboard, uh, you don't have to worry as much. And Kayla, what do we tell you if you do fall into the water? What are you supposed to do? Swim. Other, yeah, swim, but you're also supposed to remain calm. Remember, remain calm. Don't panic. Just remain calm and just swim and we'll pick you out of the water, right? All right, and uh, anything else, Kurt? Any tips that you can uh, give us? That, that technique where he tossed he tossed a hand line out into the water and kind of reeled it in with his hands. Uh, he caught a nice big one today. What's your favorite method, Kurt? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of an active. Keeps you busy. And here's our crabs All right. that we have today. How many do we get, Kurt? So what I'm gonna have Kurt do, boom, pretty active. What I'm gonna have Kurt do is pull that towel out of there. And I'm gonna have him soak it in the cold water and then put it back in. Pull, pull that plastic bag out of there too. Those are the worms. Okay, pull the plastic bag out. Okay, now get the towel gently. I don't want you to hurt it. With that. You can get the tongs. These are all male crabs, about five and a, yeah, over five and a quarter, most around six inches. Oh, Kurt, but shouldn't be it. So Kurt's getting uh, some nice, putting the towel in nice cold water, and just gonna lightly cover them. 
so not fully cover. I'm just gonna lightly cover them, let some air flow through there. Bushel baskets are nice, but we just use this for now. And we've actually been able to store the crabs for a couple of days in the basement. Um, just keep it nice and moist in there. Don't put water in there because they'll suck all the water out of the oxygen out of the water and then die. So just keep it cool and moist, but don't fill it up with water. And you'll be good to go. It's also nice to have uh, some kind of measuring device. This is a card from that we got, and it has a ruler on the top. So the ones we got today were about at least five and a quarter. That's for uh, Maryland late season minimum size for males. But most of our today were around six. Inches.